I think I first went to a training session when I was about four years old. I'd watch a game and see something and think, I bet I can't do that. And then I just wouldn't, wouldn't stop until I could do it. We'd wake up in the morning at seven, eight o'clock, we'd be out on the front and just play football and that was just it. Yeah, absolutely loved it. Used to be, obviously, I was at school in the day, go to the training sessions in the evenings and then mum would carry me back on the way home, flat out asleep. I always laugh about me having to go out of football and people say, oh, did you ever dream you play for England? And of course not. If I had sat in an office trying to sell mortgages, thinking that I just want to play for England, I just want to play for England, people would think I was absolutely bonkers. Oh, the infamous picture. <laughs> I mean, obviously there's nobody on the phone and I'm a mortgage advisor sitting in my office thinking that I look extremely cool. I was going on different trials when I was a mortgage advisor, still obviously holding on to the dream that I could be a professional footballer one day. And I remember I went on trial at Hereford. It was probably one of the, the last chances that I had. I took a day off work. The mortgage advisor in me would be fuming with that decision, but that's where the dream took off. To actually have people within football who believe in you, I think it's a massive thing. They'll never get the praise that they deserve, really. I was very fortunate to work with Mick McCarthy and Terry Connor when I came into football. And if I had worked with a different manager who may not have been as understanding or as patient or given me as much guidance, then my journey may not have been as successful. I never lost the self-belief. I was very close to it at times, but I never lost the self-belief. Your dreams are, are your, your goals. They're the ones that take you to different worlds and different places. Ultimately, that pull towards a positive dream is probably the most powerful thing that we can have. Probably the most powerful thing that keeps you going in, in the dark times and in moments where you start contemplating if what you're doing is right. Those dreams, I think, are what keep you on the straight and narrow or keep you going.